Nigerian international singer and songwriter Tewa Savage led other cast and crew of her debut film on Prime, Water and Gary, to the grand premiere recently in Lagos. Another milestone for Tiwa Savage, um, and we just want to, we're out to support her. I'm expecting something ex exceptional, outside of the fact that something blessed by God, and I know that they, the whole team has put in so much work into it. So I know it's something beautiful about to see, and, and that's really what I'm expecting. We know her as the music queen, the queen of Afrobeats, if, for me, and I'm super excited to see her, you know, um, on the big screen, first debut as an actor, and I'm um, looking forward to an exciting, exciting movie. I mean, it's a catchy name, Water and Gary. The red carpet moment was electrifying as crew members of the film were engaged by the press to share their experiences as a cast. So I played the role of Young K in Water and Gary. I'm a Ghanaian. And um, I feel very opportunity. Um, I feel like very grateful being on this project because it happens to be my, my biggest project so far. Even though I've been on other TV series and all, but this is my biggest. Having icons like Tiwa Savage, Meji Alabi directing, Jimmy. People, these are people we have really looked up to growing up here. So working with them is is just amazing. Play D. Nee. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nee nee is the guy who doesn't take disrespect stands on business and I'll give you a little hint he's the antagonist how about that you all do with that figure that out when you watch it it was amazing she was such a lovely person very um, kind caring cares about everyone around her make sure like everything is you know make sure you're good she makes sure like everything like down to the stones bro but I would say I would say the most challenge I had um, working on this project would be like stunts rehearsals because like you know, there was a couple of scenes where you know things got physical and yeah through doing the, the stunts rehearsal time and time again and then performing the scene time and time again take and take after take you get like that would that i would say is the most challenge i had you know playing media and bringing media to life tim was my first love even before music so this is a full circle moment for me um more importantly i it was really crucial for me to do this because I wanted to be inspiring to other African women and to know that we can wear different hats and we can conquer in everything we do. I'm learning to make peace with the hard times. I guess it makes us treasure the good times. Water and Gary details the story of a Nigerian fashion designer who returns to the country after building a successful career in the U.S. Inspired by uh, Tiwa's original EP, Water and Gary, you know, we took that idea and decided, you know what, we're going to do a film. And things just grew from there. You know, the EP takes on many different, um, the EP takes on many different themes, you know, and Water and Gary just has many different meanings, you know, Water is smooth and it's flowing, Gary is harsh and rush, rough, but when you bring the two together, you know, you make something nice. So, it's kind of just seeing life in two different ways, in the contrast, and seeing how, how one reacts to that and how one adapts to that. Tiwa and the relationship we've had with her for over eight years was just a natural progression for us to push ourselves. She went through film school, acting school to, to make sure she got herself right. You know, Meiji as a creative, you know, incredible powerhouse. You know, this is his first feature film. This is my first producer film um, project as a feature film anyway. And so it's one of those where we, we were crazy to say, let's do what we don't know how to do, you know, and we learned in the process. But, you know, what we did, we're very excited and very, very happy that, you know, you all get to see it on the big screen and look forward to your locking in. It was really important for me to make sure that this was world class and that African people can tell our story to the rest of the world. It might be a local story, but it has a global message. Exact reason why I didn't want to even speak in the first place. The film was directed by Meji Alabi, executive produced by Vanessa Ogbonna with support from the office of the Vice President of Nigeria. The film is currently streaming across the world. Redu is on the move again, let's go. Redu is on the move again, let's go.